Hi, I'm Tina Ann Middleton, author of the Forestville series. I'd like to welcome you today to The Writing Journey, where we inspire and encourage each other in the craft of writing. Today, we're talking about comparing and copying. We'll be right back. Do you ever find yourself wanting to compare your work with other writers? You know, trying to see if, if yours is as good as theirs or if theirs is better than yours. Maybe there's another writer whose books, so, whose writing style is so good, you just wish you could copy them, be just like them. Comparing and copying are not necessarily bad things, but that depends on how you do it. Let me illustrate. Comparing. When I was a sign language interpreter, and even since then, whenever I sign music, I love to do music in sign language. It's a, a beautiful, expressive language. But there are other interpreters that I have watched whose skills just seem so far above mine and they do it so much better. When I watch them, it makes me want to sit on my hands. That's not necessarily a good thing. We can do the same thing as writers. We can look at ourselves. I've compared myself to other writers, Lenora Worth, Dee Henderson, other writers in my ACFW group. And I'll think, you know, I'm, I'm not ever gonna be at that level. They're, they're more successful. They have more sales than I do. They're able to do it full time. My sales have not been to that point yet, so I'm still working a full time job and writing full time. Excuse me, I wish I was writing full time, writing part time. Maybe they get better reviews and more reviews. You see where I'm going with this? Everything they do is better and it makes me just look pitiful. That's discouraging. That's not something we need to do to ourselves. I mean, it can make us feel inferior. And you know, when you feel inferior and you're looking and you're saying, well, I can't ever be that good, it might make you feel like you don't want to write anymore. And that's definitely not a good thing. So what if instead of making yourself feel inferior, you just learn from the things that they do best and try to use them as a model, but not a mirror. Remember, we're all unique. We each have our own style. We each have our own talents, our own gifts. So, it's never a good idea to compare yourself to somebody else, whether it makes you feel inferior or even if it makes you feel superior. You compare yourself and go, I'm a better writer than that person. Now, I hope none of you is ever guilty of that. I hope I'm never guilty of that. That's just as bad as making myself feel inferior. Before I go on to copying, let me encourage you, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to The Writing Journey. Be sure you ring the bell so that you get notifications of new videos. Also, I would like to ask you to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, and my Amazon author page. Let's talk about copying. That, you know, you could find yourself tempted to, I mean, really copy down to the least detail another writer's style. That's not good either. For one thing, you could find yourself slipping into plagiarism. One, that's unethical, and two, that's illegal. That can get you in some deep trouble. But even if you didn't plagiarize, you still would just be a very poor imitation of another writer. Don't be a poor imitation of another writer.
be the best writer you can be. You're the writer. Use your own style. You know, we can learn from writers that we admire, but don't copy them. Just learn from them. Like I said with comparing, I'll give you an example. I recently finished a series by Christy Barrett, the Lantern Beach PD series. And I was telling my husband how much I enjoyed the way that Christy Barrett develops those characters. I mean, she develops them so well, you know, you want to hug the good guys and you want to slap the bad guys. And uh, I really enjoyed getting into that. But I'm not Christy Barrett. I'm not going to develop my characters the same way that she does. But I can learn from Christy Barrett. And I can learn from Lenora Worth and Dee Henderson and Randy Singer and all these other writers whose work I enjoy. Remember, we have our own unique style. And it's wrong it's wrong for me to set aside my style to copy someone else because I'm a poor imitation of that other one and I'm neglecting the talents that God gave me, if that's what I do. So how can we get to the point where we'll feel like, you know, we write as well as our favorite writers? I told you to copy what they do, not copy. I told you don't copy learn from what they do best. You also need to learn from what you do best. And I need to learn from what I do best. I've been told that I'm good at dialogue, but I feel like I might be a little weak in my scene development. Okay? Strengthen that dialogue. Keep doing that with the dialogue and get even better. Now, I'm telling this to myself. Maybe you'll learn from it, too. And then I could perhaps watch some videos and read some books about how to develop scenes. So I'm learning from others, like these writers I've mentioned, but I'm learning from myself, too. How, how do we study to improve? Books? Videos? workshops. If you are a member of a writing group, make sure you attend the meetings. Make sure you attend the workshops. You can learn a lot from those workshops. Find a writing mentor. Someone who, if nothing else, can give you that encouragement you need. But if this person wanted to act as a coach as well and look your work over and make suggestions, Sometimes I do get discouraged when it seems that my writing, my success as a writer, will never match up to someone else's. That I'll, I'll never be at the level that these other writers are at. But I can't let that keep me from writing. The only way for me to get better is to keep learning and keep writing. Will you join me? Have a great week.